Hey, good morning. Uh, right now we are in a middle of a corporate fast at our church. And the point of that, um, the reason we do that is to band together as a family, as a body, and seek the Lord together. Now, as you can see by my title, I put um, fasting is not about self-control, it's about relinquishing control. And why do we bother, right? And the reason um, I, th I phrased it that way is because as I was meditating on the Lord and, and my hunger and just trying to draw near to him and fasting, um, when you're a Christian and you fast, it's so that you can basically relinquish control. I'm not like, oh, I'm going to fast. I can do this. I'm going to, I'm not going to eat. Yes, that's part of it. And we have to do that as we fast. But the whole point is to relinquish our control, to allow, give our, give ourselves completely to God and allow the Lord to strengthen us, allow the Lord to lead us, allow the Lord to be our strength, allow the Lord to um, direct us and strengthen us and comfort us and feed us. Uh, Jesus said, you know, I have food, bread and drink that you do not know of from heaven, right? I don't need you to feed me some earthly food right now. I need you, I need, I have heavenly drink and heavenly food. And um, an example would be, gosh, probably 15, uh, 14 some years ago anyway, the Lord had put it on my heart to fast for three days. And I'm like, to you fasting people, I was like, really not happy about that. But I knew God put it on my heart. So I kept resisting, I kept resisting. And um, finally, I got to the point where I was very dry, and I just didn't feel like worshiping. And I was like, oh, gosh, I know I'm dry because I'm not obeying. And I'm dead on the inside and I need to obey so that I can get near to you. And um, so I had some people pray for me finally after several months when I was just like, I got to do this. I got to obey. I need to obey. And um, during those three days, it was just so phenomenal. The the nearness and the, the revelation and the, the, the daily encounters with people that I was having um, to pray. Like every day I'd have someone who I'd come across who... The Lord would have me encourage with some prophetic word. A prophetic word is a word that Lord put on my heart that I He wanted me to share with somebody. And um, when I shared it, then it went from praying for them and then asking them if they had been be, uh, baptized in the Holy Spirit. And so through these three days, I had not only been able to encourage people, but also to pray for them and lay hands on them to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because the thing that the Lord showed me is... There are many Christians who have received the free gift of salvation, right? And, and my mom always likened it to a car. But we need the baptism of the Holy Spirit to really get the gas in the tank so we can go where we need to go. And I believe, I'm not being theological, but I know there's enough scripturally to um, support the fact that, you know, there's there's this thing that the Lord does where he makes us hungry for more and he's like okay let's say you got a Lamborghini let's say that's your dream car or a Mercedes or a Range Rover whatever right and you're sitting in that Range Rover and you're sitting in that Lamborghini and you're waxing it and you're just ad admiring this amazing free gift right it's everything you hope for but as you sit there eventually you're like I'm kind of bored and you start feeling guilty because you're bored and you're like, wow, I got this free gift. Why am I bored? You know, like I should be grateful. But the Lord's inviting us to say, well, ask me for some gas, <laughs> right? Jesus told the disciples to fast and pray, wait and pray until they receive the Holy Spirit power from on high and then go out to Judea and all, all other places, right? So we got to ask ourselves, have we received that baptism of the Holy Spirit that equips us and um, gives us the the power to go out to share the gospel and to impart what we have received to others, right? I mean, I was a baby Christian and I just knew like people, people need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So I would just be like praying for people to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit because I realized they were bored and they were lethargic and they were <sighs> losing heart as Christians. And I'm like, that's because you're bored. <laughs> You need some gas in your tank. You need to start driving. You need to start flying, you know? And so the whole thing about fasting is at the end of that three-day fast, the Lord said to me, because I was just like flying high, like my, I call it my antenna, and I was praying in the spirit all, all the time, all day. You know, I was just, just 
just connected. It was like my, I said, my antenna was connected, right? There was no static on that line. And I just felt so clear and so alive and um, so near to God. And after the three days when I was trying to share the testimony, the Lord, what the Lord had done with those who had been praying for me <laughs> to obey was basically that um, he said, Jackie, he, it's like, I had this image like this. He says, I'm not trying to take something from you. Right. When we fast, we're like, Oh, I can't eat. I can't have coffee. I can't watch TV. Oh, wow. You know, like, and I'm sorry, we're, we are a bunch of babies. Sometimes we, we really can fast from everything. Although I haven't been, don't, don't think I'm holier than thou because I haven't been fasting from everything, but the Lord is really giving me a grace to get back to that place to fast from everything. But what he said is, I'm not trying to take anything from you when you, when you don't eat, I'm not taking food away from you. Actually, I'm, I'm asking you to come to me, feast on me so that I can open the heavens and pour out and pour into you and what I have for you. Okay. So it's not a God trying to take away food and take away your distractions. No, it's a come and taste and see that I am good. Come and taste and see and eat of eternal things, bread and drink of supernatural bread and drink. Right. So be encouraged, you know? Yeah. I, I think it was, I don't know if it's Joyce Meyer or somebody said recently, they said, if you're fasting or maybe it was my pastor, I don't even know. Um, uh, Oh no, it was our pastor on Wednesday, pastor Marlene. She said, you know, if you're fasting and you're just not, you know, avoiding stuff, you're just, um, what did she say? She said, you're just on a diet. <laughs> like you're not really seeking God. So the whole point is relinquish your control to God and allow him to feed you from heaven. And, and if you truly are seeking him with all your heart, you will find him. He will encounter you. It may not necessarily be during that fast, but it will unfold where he starts giving you the revelation of what he was doing and is doing as a result of that fast. Okay. So take heart, enter in with us. <laughs> Well, and with Jesus, you know, if the Lord calls you to fast, he's just, he's just going, wait, I'm trying to give this to you. Just, you're too clogged up to get it, get this from me. Just fast so I can give you what I have for you. Isn't that exciting? Does it make you want to fast? Yes. Okay. Have a great day.